Today we're in Chiloeches, that's near Guadalajara in Spain, which is near Madrid, Spain. It's a very small town of about 3,000 people. Today they're having a fiesta. There's a lot going on today in town. We'll have dinner here in a little while, but first we're going to check out some caballos. <laughs> Chilowetch is on a quiet day, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely into it. It was ideally located next to a water source. Hmm. The door was open to the palace. No say? And the gate was open. But... I have a feeling this is, might be a private home. Unbelievable. This may be a private home or it may be a public palace. Anyway. That almond tree is beautiful. No one's come out yet. <laughs> so this palace was built in 1480. It houses a museum, which apparently is not open today, and at least one private home. It's a beautiful garden. Very purple chairs. I have a feeling no one's lived here for a while. It's a beautiful historic piece of property, nicely laid out. And now it's probably someone's summer home. And this is the end of the street. Check this out. Look at this big vat. Hey, they have a grocery store and a bank. Here's how narrow the sidewalk cuts. Plaza Mayor, very historic. Beautiful cast iron fountain in green. That's probably the Ayatamianto Town Hall. It's a nice plaza. That too has a small fountain. Here's the iglesia. It's a very impressive church tower. You can walk around the church. It's good exercise. The houses are nicely nestled next to the church. A quiet little town off the beaten path, not on any tourist guides, not to be mentioned, except here on this video channel, right? It's muy único. Right behind the Ayuntamiento is a tobaccos. Little stores tucked away here and there, apparently. 
That's an interesting balcony. I'm very curious. I want to take a look at this house here. Well, it's for sale. And it's definitely older than the ones around it. And I find it fascinating. What do you think? I think we can get a good price on this house. I suspect the pigeons are living in it right now. And right next door, the contrast is remarkable. Many times these homes were abandoned because the families could not afford to pay the taxes in order to occupy the building. And so they go to the bank. It appears that someone built a fortress up this very steep driveway, and I mean steep, with giant gates. I guess they need four-wheel drive. We'll wander a little more. That's cute. There are some very old homes right there. Here's one of my favorite. The Association for the Ubilados y Pensionistas, so for the retired folks. The balconies are kind of classic. Oh, there's the Ayanto Mianto. Street food below. Look at that. They're serving what looks like to be a delicious stew below us, and it's free. So there's a raffle going on as well. They're selling raffle tickets for something. No say. Time to order the meal. It's like Ugo got a ride on the horse. He's the egg man.
a little scary. I say it's time to go. We are done. time for us to go. We had a great day here. We had a great time. Great meal. Interesting little uh, pueblo. There are many towns in Spain that you'll never find in a tourist guide. You won't find on YouTube, but you'll find it here. So I hope you'll subscribe and come back for more. Even I have heard of the Harley Davidson electric glide. Muy clásico. I hope you enjoyed our time in this interesting little Pueblo. You'll come back for more. And if you haven't subscribed already, maybe you should. Because I'm going to give you places you've never seen and places that most people won't go to. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Hasta luego.